What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and in this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to scroll through your available weapons with your mouse wheel. So as you can see here, I've got my pistol and nothing else. So if I scroll, I'm going to change to unarmed, and if I scroll again back to my pistol, if I pick up this assault rifle and I scroll down, it's going to scroll to my pistol and then to my unarmed. And if I scroll down again, it's going to cycle back through to the assault rifle. And if I pick up the third and final weapon here, you can see if I scroll up, I've got assault rifle, unarmed, pistol, shotgun, and assault rifle. And if I scroll down, it will scroll down through the order correctly. Now guys, this is built on the top of my how to create a weapon system in Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, uh, the 2.0 version, which I released a couple of months ago. So if you haven't seen that tutorial already, I highly recommend you check it out because this is built off of the top of that. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, now I am going to show you how to set this up with an enhanced input action. So with that in mind, we first just want to double check which input mapping context our character is using. So I'm going to find my character and open it up. And on event begin play here, I've got the code here that sets the input mapping context. And I can check which mapping context I'm using right here. So I can browse to this one. And if I open it up, you'll see that it has my interact uh, input action in there. So this is the correct one. So with that in mind, this is the IMC that we're going to add our input action to. So let's create our input action. I'm going to head into the actions folder and right click and go to input, input action. And I'm just going to call this IA underscore scroll and open this up. And here on the value type, I'm just going to change this to an axis 1D. And this will allow us to use the mouse wheel up and down on this one input action. So we can save that and close that. And then in the IMC, I'm going to add a mapping. I'm gonna select my new IA scroll, and then I'm gonna drop this down. I'm gonna click this little keyboard icon, and then I'm gonna scroll my mouse wheel, and it will change this to mouse wheel axis. And that is literally all we need to do in here. We can save this and close this. And let's find some empty space down here, just under our very rudimentary uh, weapon switching logic that we've created in a previous session. Just down here, I'm going to find my IA scroll. And what I can do here to basically check if we're scrolling up or down is I can drag off of the action value here and find a compare float. Now, when we scroll up on the mouse wheel, it will give us an action value of positive one. And when we scroll down, it will give us a value of negative one. So we can put any logic for the scrolling up off of this greater than execution pin and make sure we plug in the execution pin here. And we can plug any logic for the scrolling down into the less than execution pin right here. Nice. Okay. So to do this, basically what we're going to be doing is uh, switching to a different weapon, uh, depending on which weapon we're currently holding. So with this previous logic here, uh, we were just checking if we did have uh, this weapon and if it was the current weapon that we're holding. And if it wasn't the current weapon that we're holding and we did have it, then we switched to it. So this logic here, we can use for our mouse wheel weapon selection. We can grab everything after this uh, branch right here and duplicate it down here. And I'm going to just move it out here. And I'm also going to disconnect right here before the montage, because all of this logic we will use um, sort of for every, you'll, you'll see in a moment, we're going to connect everything back into this play montage at the end. So what we first need to do is check what our current weapon type is. So we can get our current weapon type enumeration, and we can do a switch on that enumeration. And then we will have different logic depending on which weapon we currently have. Uh, so what we can actually do is we can use our function that we created our get weapon of type, get weapon of type right here. So I'm going to drag this out. And I'm also going to add an output to this. 
I'm going to add an output and it is just going to be weapon type enum. Um, I believe if you call it weapon type, it won't let you because we have, we already have variables called weapon type. Um, but basically uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to our weapon type enumeration type. And then we're going to open up this function. And all we're going to do here is we're going to pass through this weapon type that is passed through in the input. So basically what this means is that when we call this, this will just return whatever this is set to right here. Okay. So with that in mind, let's uh, put a branch on this has weapon type, has weapon of type. And we're going to, if we do have the weapon of type, we're going to set can fire to false and we're going to set the weapon type as this weapon type enumeration that is returned from the function right here. Uh, and basically what we are going to do is we're going to plug this into the first pin here and we are going to duplicate this four times or duplicate it three times so that we've got four of them. And we'll plug this into each of these pins here. And the first thing we need to do now is select what type of weapon we want to switch to if we're on that weapon type. So here we are scrolling up through our weapons. If we are on unarmed, we are going to want to change to our pistol. If we are on our pistol, we're going to want to change to our shotgun. If we're on our shotgun, we want to change to our assault rifle. And if we are on our assault rifle, we're going to change back to unarmed. Um, that is indeed if you want an unarmed state in your game. But that's how I'm going to set mine up. Nice. And, uh, and next we need to connect this false uh, pin right here to the next weapon in that order. So it's very easy in this ascending order. We just need to grab the false pin from the pistol one here and connect it into the get weapon of type on the next one down like so. If we don't have a shotgun, we want to check if we have an assault rifle. Try and keep this neat and tidy. And if we don't have an assault rifle, we can switch to unarmed like so. And if you do have an unarmed state in your game, you don't need to connect the false to anything else because if you've set this up like me, your weapons, uh, your weapons variable here already has an unarmed um, default value. It has one, one entry here. Um, but if this was another type of weapon, let's say sniper rifle, and you wanted it to cycle back to your pistol after that, then you could just get the false and you could plug it into the first one like so. And it probably doesn't hurt to do it this way anyway. Nice. And then uh, these will all plug into the play montage right here. And the montage, because we've already set the current weapon type here, all of this code here will basically work as is. Uh, with one exception. I found, which is that there is no, um, there is no current weapon for unarmed. There's no object reference uh, for our unarmed state. So what we can actually do is just drag off of this get current weapon, and get an is valid. Plug this in here, and if weapon is not valid, we want to get this. Um, basically this reference to our animation blueprint and set the current weapon enum in our animation blueprint to unarmed like so. Nice. And now we need to do this for our uh, scroll down. So let's try and keep this simple by just getting all of this, duplicating it down here, plug this into the less than node and the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete these connections from the false pin because 
Uh, it can get a bit confusing if you're trying to reorder those and they're already there. Uh, I'm just going to delete them all and I'm going to start from here. So if we're scrolling down from unarmed, we're going to want our assault rifle. If we scroll down from our pistol, we're going to want unarmed. Down from our shotgun is our pistol and down from our assault rifle is our shotgun. Just double check that. Unarmed to assault rifle, pistol to unarmed, shotgun to pistol, and assault rifle to shotgun. Nice. And then connect the false pin in the logical order. So if we don't have an assault rifle, we're going to want to switch to our shotgun, which is all the way down here. And I will pass this over the top like so. If we don't have our unarmed, we are going to want to switch to our assault rifle or check if we have an assault rifle. If we don't have a pistol, let's switch to our unarmed. And if we don't have a shotgun, we will check if we have a pistol. Nice. And uh, the last thing we need to do is plug all of these into the play montage. And I might just get this reference to the first person mesh and put it down here. And that is that is it. That is literally it. Uh, now, this may not be the most elegant solution. Uh, if you can, you know, clean this up, uh, be my guest and be sure to let me know you know, what you found. Um, but, you know, I, I did want to put a lot of this into a function, but it won't let me put a play montage in a function. I don't really understand why. There's probably a very good reason for that, but I don't understand it. Uh, so this works and, you know, it's fairly easy to set up. And the beautiful thing about blueprints is uh, the speed of iteration. So, you know, uh, we, we set this up in less than 10 minutes. It was very, very quick and easy to set up. And, you know, you can always go ahead and improve this from there. But that being said, let's give this a test. So I am going to grab all of my, oh, I'll just grab one weapon and then I'll see that I'll cycle down through my pistol, unarmed and back to my assault rifle. And if I pick up the third weapon, I'll go up through all of the weapons, unarmed, pistol, shotgun, assault rifle, and back down. And that seems to all be working perfectly as intended. Guys, that's it. If this tutorial has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.